can just upload for the skits, because I can. <laughs> Okie dokie. So our first presentation is in the novice division. For those of you in the back in our tech group, this is N01. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that a lot because they told me to just kind of tell them what CD to play so that we don't have, you know, the wrong audio. Raise your hand if you've been in a skit and that's ever happened to you. Anyone? Yeah, I'm seeing the hands. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to avoid that this year. Presentation number one. No. While trying to escape to his hideout, Hiccup somehow ends up at the Gaylord during Katsukan with Astrid following close behind. This oh, is presentation I number one. Also in the novice division, N04 for you guys in the back. Family reunions are supposed to be filled with love and laughter, not violence and bludgeoning. Pain in the Neck Productions is proud to present, I'm related to who? Uh-oh. This should be interesting. Let's hope you're better than the freaks I've fought so far. Show me what you've got! Hurry! HURRY! Your powers are impressive, but we'll see how long you'll last against the son of Dracula. Son of Dracula? But... I'm Dracula. What? <laughs> MY BOY! I THOUGHT YOU WERE Dracula! Come now! We must make it back to the house! Everyone, I would like to introduce someone. This is my long-lost son, D. D, this is uh, Sir Integra Fairbrook Wingate's Helsing, your stepmother. Stepmother? What's that supposed to mean? Well, oh, come on, Master. You should know I, I make your blood boil. Even the fan base considers us pairing. I don't care what they think. You're my servant, and I'm your master, and that's it. 
How many times do I have to hit you over the head before it sinks in? Ah! Uh, no! Master! No! Oh, not the front of the boy! Not the head! Ah! Um... Excuse me? So, um... You're Master Alicon's son? My name is Vampire Hunter D, but they also call me Dampi or Dampia. What is your name, my lady? My name is, um, well, my name is Place Girl. No, I mean Sarah, Sarah's Victoria. <sighs> She's so falling for that bastard. I see, you're a vampire as well. How did you become one? Oh, uh, well, Alucard, I mean Master, he... He took me blood and turned me into a vampire. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. So, Pat, you're Alucard's son and she's his fledgling vampire. In a way, that sort of makes you a brother and sister. Meaning any love or romance between you two just wouldn't work out, right? You promised that moment, you cheeky pig! Ah, even with that, not so hard. Wow, Dunfield, you sure have a crazy family. An insane father that gets beaten up by your stepmother with anger issues. A ha crazy half-sister that beats the crap out of her wacky boyfriend. The only thing that's missing is a senile grandpa that likes to talk about the old times. Then we would have a real you. sitcom. You're not even trying to follow the <laughs> I haven't seen this much carnage since my time in World War II. All my boys are the ones. <laughs> Now you're just in denial. I'm not your lover! Why did you bring up the brother-sister logic? You're just saying because you know that I'm right! Ah! That's it. I'm out of here. Life was so much better when I was alone. Presentation number three. This is also in the novice division and 06. <clears throat> A wave of murders has swept through Central. The victims include those who hold the rank of state alchemist. Yeah! Something I know, sort of. Who could do such a nefarious deed? Everybody's well, a scar, that's why. He murders lots of people. It's kind of insane. Poor kid, part of the salt coming. Whoa! <laughs> Cheska, pull yourself together. Hmm, Lieutenant, haven't there been other cases like this reported recently? Yes, Colonel. I believe it's been five in the past two weeks. A similar head injury was the cause of death in each case. Cheska, go back to headquarters and bring me the files on the other murders. This could be the work of a serial killer. Um, yes. Okay then, Colonel Mustang, sir. Hey, look, he's moving. Full metal. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I'm afraid you've been brutally murdered. <laughs> Wait, what? But I'm not dead. I know death can be hard to accept, Ed, but grief is a natural process that takes time. Right now, you have a duty to find the one who ended your life so early. But I... fine. I don't know who attacked me. They got me from behind. Well, given the angle of the head wound, whoever got him must have been pretty strong. And a few inches taller. Who are you calling short? Well, if you don't know who it was, who do you think would have the motive to kill you? Gee, I can't think of anyone. <laughs> Man, I could sure name a couple. Well, hello, humans. <laughs> Can I eat them? Gluttonous. You just ate. Yeah. But I'm so hungry! I know, but you know you shouldn't eat them. Hey, do you guys feel Ed? So, Full Metal Pips Week is dead? How inconvenient. Obviously, we had nothing to do with it. However, this... 
was all me. What the heck? I think she just paralyzed me. <laughs> wow. Sucks to be you. Well, aren't you going to do something about it, sir? Oh, fine. Missed! Happy now? Not really. I can probably close that wound for you. No! I think we should take him to the hospital, sir. Good idea. Ed, I'll have to get back to your case later. Right now, my man needs help. State Alchemist, prepare to meet your end. Okay, it's you. I shall give you a few moments to pray to God before you feel his wrath. Sorry, Scar, I've uh, already been murdered today. Oh, oh really? Um, I'm sorry to hear about that. Well, anyway, be grateful you have been spared judgment. So... Seen any other state alchemists around? Uh, hello, Ed. Wait, 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 did you just kill Scott? Well, I was working on a customer's auto mail, and he was just so picky. He just kept nagging and nagging, and it just started to get so angry. And so, finally, I just picked up this wrench. And <laughs> it all seemed so simple. Just a pop on the head, and then he was quiet. <laughs> and now, Ed, I've come for you. You were always breaking the automobile I worked so hard on, and always <laughs> refusing to drink your milk. Uh, really? Young boy? Young boy? Havoc was injured, and now Ed's body is run off? Why can't men seem to do anything right? I don't know, but I do know this. One day, when I, Lisa Hawkeye, become Fuhrer, there are going to be changes. On that day, all male officers will be required to wear tiny mini kilts. Our next presentation 